Kevin, what care what is up my family we are back and we are on a game called the coffin of andy and lele this game is about two siblings who want to eat their neighbor be sure to smash that thumbs up button right now before we dive into this guys let's do it andy says lele i don't want to lele says well i do just go over and do we fill this in just go over and blank Blank to blank. So she must be telling him to go over to the neighbor's house and just get it over with. Bring the body back so we can eat it together. <laughs> I thought she's your friend. Lele says, mom said you'd help me with anything. Andy says, we'll get in trouble. Good morning, Ashley. Uh... As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it is time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients Not to Die. So we need to find something around the house to not die. We need something in our body. We need some food, something. All right, let's check around. The freezer is completely empty. Oh my God, this white noise, how thrilling. Actually, white noise is pretty thrilling. I have a sound machine that I go to sleep to every night of white noise it's it's pretty <laughs> i know it's for like babies but it is pretty thrilling who wouldn't want to be stuck at home when you got entertainment like this she's being sarcastic okay what we got mother won't pick up no matter how many times you call you've also tried to order food a bazillion times but for whatever reason the orders never arrive okay is this a room here bathroom <laughs> with the washing machine in it <laughs> okay detergent drinking this gets more and more tempting every day i just want to drink this detergent and just die <laughs> that's pretty much <laughs> what she's saying it's a cleaning closet she's like look at her face she's like just so so depressed acting like geez lighten up lighten up lele Ashley, Layla, Ash, Layla, Ashley, and Andrew, Layla. You guys get it. All right, we got trash here. A lone trash bag. Nothing worth mentioning is inside. Okay, bedroom. Oh, whatever. Just leave it. <laughs> Just leave the mess. Whatever. The front door won't budge. You've been locked in here for months now. The balcony door is locked. All right, let's go in here. And what do you know? Andrew, in here asleep. <laughs> My freaking brother. In the trash lie your hopes and dreams. <laughs> exactly where they belong, in the trash. Our hopes and dreams belong in the trash. <laughs> An alarm clock is ticking away. Dirty laundry. Andrew is asleep, obviously. You can't eat him. Yeah, we can't eat our brother. We got a hoodie there. Okay. Inside the cabinets is nothing. Junk and unpaid bills. They cannot be eaten. Fam, I just want to eat something. What about here? This is where you and your older brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged several times and it's truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. But wait, what is that? Got a can of tomatoes, yeah! We in the game, baby, can of tomatoes, amazing. You should show that to your brother. All right, let's go tell bro. Andrew, oh, you're up now, huh? You show him the tomato can. Ta-da, says Ashley. Andrew goes dot, 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 dot. Look at his face. Like, really, bruh? Not the reaction you were hoping for. Ahem. Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? No, that's the very last thing we have, Ashley. I think we should hold on to it a little longer, says Andrew. Andrew says, quit your complaining. 
you're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash. So clearly you're not dying yet. Ashley says, huh? How did you know it was in? He knew it was in the trash because I hid it there away from you. Gasp. I live in a den of snakes. Yeah, you're a snake, Andrew. Ugh, don't rile me up. You're making me hungry. Don't you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them in my mouth. I will. Andrew, I can see your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat it then. Screw our future selves. So is that seriously the last thing to eat in the house, fam? Like, yo, they're about to eat it. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. Okay, do we? Oh, Warden. Good day, are you still alive in there? Ashley? Da, 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 da. Warden. Hello! If you won't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I don't bring food for the dead. Oh, she ran over there. You don't bring it for the living either. Ha ha, I'll take that as a yes, still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? Warden says, nah, not my job. I'll check in on you again later. Bye. Ashley, no, wait. Wait, wait, come back. He doesn't. God damn it. Hey, this game has some pretty strong language, so you guys be ready, all right? Don't be playing with me like that. I know I've changed my mouth from my recent years of YouTube. But this got some strong language, all right? Don't judge me. Judge yourself. <laughs> okay, here we go. Sigh, Ashley. You boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. This is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. You used it all to spike your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Ashley, well, how is it? They're having dinner right <laughs> dinner right now. Andrew says, at this point, you could feed me a can of worms and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kiss ass. <laughs> Andrew says, no, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. It is in that moment that an ominous audio assaults your eardrums. Andrew, are you kidding me? The neighbor is at it again. Oh, so our neighbor is probably like bumping some music over there, obviously. And and they probably do it all the time. Ashley says, want to go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Got balcony key. Oh, we got the balcony key. Let's go. Unlock the balcony door. Oh yeah, see the music note? Our next door neighbor over there. Just straight bumping, fam. Andrew says, hmm, can't really see squat from here. Let's go back inside. So I thought this was my room on this right side, but this is my parents' room. I share a room with Andrew. There's my bed, there's Andrew's, got it. So let's go to our parents' room. All right. Got a wooden plank. So we got a wooden plank from our parents' room, the shelf there. Now let's use the plank. Set down the wooden plank. <laughs> We're going across, oh my gosh. We're peeking in there, Ashley. Oh, dang. Cultists. Oh, demons from hell. Fam, what? Hear my plea. Our neighbor is freaking possessed. Oh, the unholy ones. I come seeking your advice. Da, 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 da. God damn it. What am I doing wrong? I thought that was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. <gasps> Ashley. 
Uh, Andrew says, what do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this. Isn't it almost time they let us watch the TV? Okay, let's go back inside. Fam, that was so weird. All right, can we, like... Ah, the remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. Mah, what a pain. Ashley, fine. I'll fetch some batteries for you. I always have to do everything around here. Yeah, yeah, woe is you. It is. All right, batteries. A bunch of rented movies. Their due date passed ages ago. But what can you do? Okay. Ah, alarm clock is ticking. Let's take these batteries. You take the batteries out of the alarm clock. Got batteries. <laughs> Got batteries. All right. Here you go, fam. Thank you kindly, says Andrew. Now praise me. <laughs> Ashley. <laughs> wow, amazing. You did such a bang up job. <laughs> They're so sarcastic. <laughs> more. Give me more, says Ashley. Oh, you haven't sent God's gift to humanity. How did life ever subsist in your absence? <laughs> no one fetches batteries like you do. I stand in awe of your very existence. You sit in ah, Ashley says. You should sit too. It's starting. TV, thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all the apartments to which the tainted water has been delivered has been secured. It has been three months since the first incident was discovered and the death toll is now at a comfy 53 total. No biggie. <laughs> and the quarantine period for those whom are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. So they're in quarantine. Again, Andrew says, another two weeks. And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite infested bodies far, far away from me. <laughs> Sorry, it's uh, thank you for your continued consideration to the, the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. Andrew, I'm going to bed. You decide to do the same. Ashley, wait, mom, where are you going? So she's, she's dreaming. Mom, me and your father will be staying at a hotel for a bit. Is she dreaming? I thought they said we should stay at home until I didn't drink anything, says mom. Mom? Not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from a carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew can join us later. All right, this won't hurt a bit, says the nurse. The nurse sticks a needle in you. There we go. And now you. Oh, so I don't know why I thought that we were dreaming, but I gotta, it may not be a dream. So I just got like a quarantine shot pretty much. And now he's getting one. How long do we have to stay home? Says Andrew. The results from your blood work will be done tomorrow. So if everything is well, you're free to come and go as you please after that. And if not, then you'll get to see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Mom, stop calling me, Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Says Ashley. Listen. This new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy, says mom. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Please don't call me anymore. I won't answer. G -g 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 Goodbye, Ashley. 
I'm sorry. Ashley. So mom hangs up. Ashley. Dot, 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 dot. After reminiscing all night, you wake up as one does. So I was in a dream. I was reminiscing about the night mom left. Then we got our quarantine shots and we've been stuck in this house with no food forever. Pretty much a few months. I was right. I was dreaming. <laughs> Instead of ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. All right. Yeah, let's do some cleaning. Let's see here. Okay, laundry. So I just came into the laundry room. It needs some more laundry. All right, let's find some laundry around here. Picked up some laundry. More laundry. Let's check mom's room. Uh, just books on the ground. Okay. Throw it in there. All right, more laundry. Hmm. Let's pick up the detergent. Can we? Can we get it? Maybe we got to pick up the last of the laundry, and then we can obviously pick up the detergent. Picked up some laundry. Oh, okay. Andrew gets up. Yawn. Oh. You're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy, says Ashley. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, do we have any detergent left? All right, let's go get the detergent. Of course we have detergent left. Got detergent. Take it back in here with Andrew. Uh, dot, 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 dot. Andrew is too exhausted to chat. He's like, I mean, we haven't eaten, guys, so I'm using a little bit of energy that I have, and Andrew is just slowly, slowly deteriorating. I mean, we haven't eaten, guys, so I have no energy. Andrew has no energy. I mean, I have a little bit of energy. Obviously, I'm cleaning up. <laughs> You run the laundry. Now, what else could you clean? Let's clean up this floor. Where's our mop at? You're not going to clean this with your bare hands. All right, mop. Where you at, moppy? Oh, here's the mop. Got a mop. <laughs> All right. Mop some dirt. Mop some dirt. Mop some dirt. What else is there to take care of? We should probably pick this up. Cleaned up some books. There we go. You returned all the books to the shelf. Ashley. You're feeling dizzy. Oh. Andrew, damn it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo it. Yeah, we were overdoing it, just cleaning. We just don't have the energy to do these things. I mean... But I'm bored, you know? <laughs> Ashley, dot, 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 question mark. Good news once again. So we're watching TV. Some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been a supply shortage in the quarantine households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that all of that has been taken care of. Ashley says it has. Andrew's like, does it look like I'm eating right now? I mean, where's my supplies at? Where's my food at? Ashley, dot, 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 dot. TV. On that note, we'd like to remind all of you not to enter the quarantined apartments. So that means we can't get food freaking dropped off because nobody can enter our apartment. No, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you feel the urge to help, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. So if you come to our apartment complex and try to help, the staff will be administrating bullets directly into your brain. Thank you. Have a great night. Like, <laughs> what type of news station is this? I hope that clears up things a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be... You drift back into unconsciousness.
You're too tired to get the phone. Andrew gets it. Hello? Of course. What is it? The shift in his tone of voice makes you strain your ears. No, no, go ahead. Someone is talking on the other side of the line, but you can't make out the words. They sound more and more upset as they talk, though. Well, well, that's... Uh, I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but... No, or... I mean, yes, but that doesn't... No, I'm not angry. I, I'm just... No, I... I uh, can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Female voice. Uh, always about you. Don't lay... And Ashley and Ben, I've had time to think. I just can't do it anymore. So that's it then, says Andrew. That's it then? Now it's quiet on both ends. Andrew, well, all right, I guess. What else is there to say? Sorry. Although I really don't see why I should be held accountable for... A faint beep, beep, beep of a drop call can be heard. The person hung up, the female voice. Andrew, ah! Sigh. Ashley, who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. My boy Andrew had a little bit of game, huh? Ex-girl, okay. Oh, she dumped you. <laughs> Why is that? Why do you think? <laughs> How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite infested homebody that's apparently perma quarantined. Or because she found someone new. It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she didn't like you that much in the first place. Whatever you say, Ashley. He walked onto the balcony. Huh. There might have been something more tactful to say. So to make sure we're all on the same page, they've been quarantined for months. Their mom dipped out. Don't know where dad is. And they haven't eaten anything in months. I don't know how they're still alive. Maybe they were living on supplies that mom left around the house. And now they've started to run out. But nobody can enter the apartments or they're going to get shot. So they can't get any food or anything delivered. So now I'm starting to see why they're looking next door at the neighbor. <sighs> Whatever. You pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should just check on your brother. Let's go check on this dude. Someone from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too. People are yelling from their windows and balconies. Hey, take me too, ambulance. Ambulance, take me too. I need some help too. Please, please, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. They just don't care. Andrew says, color me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they'd just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As if they'd have their sirens blaring for a corpse. So that means she was most likely alive. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumbass? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Huh. Think they'd bring me food if I got per... Nope. <laughs> nope. No, 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 no. Let me finish. How would you even get pregnant in here? Well, we do have one charming fella right next door. Over my dead body, says Andrew. He seemed a little off of his rocker. My boy a little crazy. So who knows? He just might end you. Forget this, says Andrew. Well, excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever. 
It was just a thought, says Ashley. Jackass. You'd like to go after Andrew and tell him it ain't none of his damn business anyway. But you're just too exhausted. But after sleeping for a few hours or maybe a few days, who knows? You're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. Ashley? Oh yeah, we're up, baby. We got that energy now! Woo! Uh, not. Oh, you silly lazy bones. So we are laying in mom's bed. What day is it? How long have you been locked in your apartment now? And where the hell does Andrew get this energy to make so much noise? Oh, so, so Andrew has the energy? I thought it was me. Let's go see. Andrew, what's up, dude? He has unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in. Oh, yeah, he's, he's over it, guys. Or out, depending on your perspective. How many times are you going to try that? It's clearly barred from the outside somehow. They locked us in. They have bars on the door on the other side. We can't kick it through. What else am I supposed to do? Wharton, if you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. You won't either way, says Andrew. Says you, the delivery will be made here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Andrew. <sighs> yeah, that's right. Now you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door or next I'll be banging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get that delivery today? Says Andrew. Like I didn't F this up for us, did I? Unlikely, says Ashley. Though I guess we'll see. And see, you did. That absolutely nothing was delivered. So the, the warden didn't deliver them any food. They're laying there. Sigh. Talk about something, says Ashley. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. You'd think something would be happening to us by now, but I haven't noticed anything. That nurse never came back either. Like, don't you want to monitor us? Ugh, who cares? Me, Ashley, I care. Well, I don't care nor care that you care. Aside from the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again, says Andrew. Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Oh, I'll race you. Ha 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 says Andrew. <laughs> no, seriously, let's go, says Ashley. Let's not, though I appreciate your eagerness to join me. But it's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me, says Ashley. What? You don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force, our bodies turn into a pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up, they'd have to bury us together in the same coffin. Might as well, we've been confined together in this coffin of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you, says Andrew. Get your head checked. Ashley says, I should get my head checked? You need to get your head checked. And no wonder your girlfriend dumped you. If those are your plans for romance, not romance. I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is. The neighbor starts blasting his favorite ritual music for all to hear. Again? I wish he just... Andrew? I feel like you should go check up on that. Okay, let's go across. The heck is going on over here? My lord, you've come. And you're uh, a little smaller than I imagined. I, I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. What do you offer, human? 
Uh, oh, um, I don't have much to give right now, says the cultist. But if you can help me get out of here, I can get you anything you wish. Question mark, question mark. Is that no good? As you wish, human. My lord, thank you, thank you. Perish. Darkness clouds your vision and you cannot see what's happening. By the time your vision returns, the entity has vanished. On the ground lay the lifeless body of the cultist. Wow. So the demonic figure killed him because he said he wanted to, he said like, if you could get me out of here, meaning get me out of this apartment complex because I've been here for months. But the demon thought that he was saying like, I guess kill him. <laughs> so that's what he did. Andrew goes dot, 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 dot. Ashley, same thing. So, uh, am I already delirious or did I see that too? Do we, uh, do you want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I am not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're gonna die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There has to be something this guy has that we can eat. Oh, burglary time! Sh shut up and let's get in there. We're going inside. The doorknob taunts you from the other side of the glass. Okay, how do we... The boxes are full of useless junk. Do we go through the window? We gotta get in there. Okay. Okay, so we picked up an ashtray. Door unlocked. Oh my gosh, dude, we just like, bam! <laughs> oh, broke the window and opened the door. Okay. Let's turn this off. All right. That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself, as he's laying on the ground and they're starving. Ugh, that's a lot of meat. Pause. <laughs> Andrew says, what? Out loud, apparently. Though, I mean, is it still illegal if we didn't kill the guy? Is what illegal? Well, you know, oh, you want to eat him. Why is she like happy about that? I isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation. Ah, but we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get caught once they finally let us out. But it's not like we killed the guy. I think just messing with the corpse is a crime too. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Will the staff here admit that they didn't give us food though? And before that, you're gonna tell them a demon killed him, really? That'll fly? Listen, you're overthinking the hell out of this. Are we gonna do this or not? Da, 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 da. Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Uh, mm, yeah. All right then, let's find something to butcher him with. Oh my God! Okay, I see it over here. Got a cleaver. So, you get the arms, I'll handle the legs. First, you chop off the cultist's right arm. Right arm, next is up, left arm. Oh, <laughs> Andrew says we can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it, says Ashley. No, can't you go get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest in the meantime, I guess. I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. He better not eat him to himself. We gotta go get some plastic bags. I don't know if we have to go back to our apartment. It's just locked as your door. Okay, I was just checking it out there. If we come back, fam, and this dude 
gonna be so pissed if he ate the body. See the window broken right there? <laughs> We're terrible. All right, plastic bags. While yes, these are perfectly suitable plastic bags, they are also full already. You'd rather not carry the meat you're about to eat inside a used trash bag. Find something else. Freezer? The freezer is completely empty. Hmm. Okay. Got some plastic bags. Okay, so in the bathroom cabinet here are plastic bags. Let's go back. He didn't eat them. Got right arm. A small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Crap. I don't think we can cut the spine either. Just fold them over. I, I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn, says Ashley. Yeah, see? If anyone happens to be looking out of their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags, says Ashley. Listen, this isn't going to... Ta-da! <laughs> Andrew's like, uh, okay. <laughs> Good God, no, don't make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. All right, all right, enough. Gather the limbs up and go. There should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in his freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us up something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. Yeah, a body. All right, let's go to the freezer. You're still missing some limbs. Oh, <laughs> gotta grab the limbs before we can go to the freezer, Kev. There we go, got right leg. Got left leg. The bathroom smells of feces and you feel zero inclination to investigate further. Got left arm. Andrew said he'll deal with the, the top portion of the body. All right, freezer. You place the several limbs in the freezer. Now, which one do you want to eat? Hmm, I think I'll take the right arm. All right, time to cook. You fry some meat. <laughs> Dinner's ready, says Ashley. Can't believe we're eating our neighbor. Oh, gosh. Andrew says, right. So what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what? Eat up. You first. Munch, munch. Huh? What? Oh, you, you already? Uh, okay. Eat, Andrew. You will not waste this. Um... Right. Andrew takes a bite of your cooking. Good. I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't. Ashley like smacks his mouth like, no, you gonna eat this. Andrew. Oh. Swallow. All of it. Andrew, go. <clears throat> well, well, how is it? It's... God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love. So you're not leaving the table before you've licked the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Then quit your gagging, you big baby. I'll eat it, all right? Just give me a minute. Under your watchful eye, he slowly finishes his plate. Finish it. Good boy. I'm so proud. Just F off, Ashley. What an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got a very limited set of spices left. What do you think I should try next? Uh, I don't know. Maybe coriander? All right, I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now, night, night. Yeah, good night. All right, off to bed. 
Wait, what are you doing? Hey, Ashley, if we ever get out of here, you really should get your head checked. Huh? Just a thought. Sweet dreams. <laughs> That's so rude. All right. You fall asleep fully content with your life decisions. Hey, Lele. Oh, are we in a dream again? Blank says she likes you. Andy says who? Lele, my friend from school. Or at least I thought she was a friend. So are you going to be her boyfriend? Gross, no, says Andy. <laughs> I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother. Mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Wow, she's very protective of her brother. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Somehow you don't count as a lady in my mind. Or as a person for that matter. Screw you. I am the most personist lady in the world. So anyway, I'm going to take her to that old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. <laughs> Lele is evil. Yeah, yeah. Seriously. Mom gave me some money to go buy some groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. Hee hee hee. You should go ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lele, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she's your friend. Well, I thought so too. Oh, so this is the dialogue in the beginning of the game. But more fool now. And she can be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder how to do it properly. We'll get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Sigh, says Andy. Do it, Andy. I guess. Hooray, you're the best. Today's episode is titled Andy and Lele and the B-I-T... The B in the box. One day, you'll be a bee in a box, and your friends will take turns pissing on your grave above. Lele, what do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words, says Andy? The B-I-T-C-H is you. I'll take you out to play, and when I'm done, it's back in the box with you. Andy, I really ought to kick your ass one of these days. Lele, what is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Okay, so Lele's waiting out there. There they go. Finally, says Lele. Huh? What are you doing here? Surprise, I want to hang out too. Oh. I mean, I guess that's fine. Lele. Say, did you tell your mom you're here? No, why? Hee <laughs> hee, just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she let you come hang out with the boy. No way, she thinks I went to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Because Ashley's like jealous of her brother's relationship with others. So she wants to teach this girl a lesson. Divine intervention, says Lele. What's that even mean? Andy says, it means she's full of crap. Don't listen. So are you going inside or what? Is that allowed? Says the girl who has no name right here. Not yet, at least. Lele says, I'll allow it. Let's find a way in right now. Okay. Let's see. A way in. Do we go up here? The drop off on the other side of the window is too high. Lele says, though I wouldn't mind convincing her to jump anyway, <laughs> to maybe twist her ankles, maybe break her neck. Is something wrong, says Andy? Lele says, nah, but we can't go in this way. Okay. A steel mallet. I can't really think of a way a mallet would be useful in this situation. Lele says, I sure can. As in, help us get into the warehouse? Okay, yeah. In that case, no. 
So Lele wants to use this mallet on this girl right here. And he says, Ugh, Lele, I don't even want to know what you had in mind. What are you guys talking about? And he says, It's nothing. Let's keep looking. Okay, what about the hammer? Got hammer? Okay, so there's a piece on the building here. Why'd they nail this metal sheet thing on the wall? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Perfect. Tear it open. What? I can't do that. It's okay. I won't tell anyone. As in literally can't do it, dumbass. Not without some tools at least. Huh? Even though it's this flimsy? Yes. I, I like smart guys over beefy ones, says the girl. Who asked? Said Lele. Okay, what else can we find? That'll help us. Or do we do it ourselves? You use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. And there's the hole. Cough. <coughs> wow, it sure is <coughs> kind of dusty in here, says the girl. Makes me worry about my asthma. Lele says, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, I know. How about hide and seek? Ugh, you're such a kid. Lele says, huh? Andy wants to play too. You do? The girl asks Andy. Andy says, what? Uh, oh, yeah, sure. Lele says, see? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while, says the girl. You totally wanted to play too, you child. Uh, I'll be it. I'm gonna count to ten. So the girl's it. Lele says, hundred. Count to a hundred at least. Okay, okay. One, two. Lele, all right, let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Says Andy. Of course. She said no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Lele, you promised, Andy. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Okay, we need a box. This. Oh, now this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. The hell we don't. Place a stick or something between the rings. That'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? No, well, if she's hunched inside, I doubt she'd have any leverage to. Ready or not, here I come! Oh, crap, she counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. Ha ha ha, let's hide, hide! Okay, where, where are we hiding? Over here? Or are we getting in there ourselves? This container is already full. Over here? Where do we get a stick anyway? Because they want to lock her in. Andy picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. So he picks up something. I guess this will do. Lele. Dot, 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 dot. Well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick. No, what do you think, dumbass? Uh, she's fine, I guess. Dot, 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 dot. Lele's like jealous. Like, so jealous. Found you! Both of you! Who hides in the same spot, idiots? Ha ha ha! Uh, it was my spot first, says Lele. Then you're it. No way. Andy stole my spot, so he's it. Yes, yes, I'll go count, says Andy. Andy goes to count outside. Lele says, hee hee, my hiding spots are the best. I know a really good one for you. Come take a look. Um, okay. Let's take her over to the hiding spot. Lele, think you'll fit in here? Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Oh, boo-hoo, who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I... Hundred! Says Andy. Oh, shoot, he's coming. Hurry, hurry! Er, uh, okay. She gets in. Hastily, your friend hops inside the creek. Hey, up! Lele gets on top. Ha-ha-ha, <laughs> what was that? Hee-hee-hee, I got you now! 
Blank is too weak to throw you off the lid. Cough. <laughs> this isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. There you are, Andy, you slow poke. Hurry, she's putting up a fight. Cough, cough. <laughs> I can't breathe. Cough, cough, cough. <laughs> Is she all right, says Andy? Cough, cough, please. I Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Lele. She's just pretending. No one's ever died from some dust. Cough, cough. <laughs> Come on, just let her out. What, you'll believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out then. Who cares about me anyway? Cough, cough. <laughs> Everyone likes her better. Bet you like her better too. Bet everybody does. I already know. Cough, cough, cough. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Oh, come on. I already told you I don't want and bet stiff. Bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, well that... Well, that's, I mean, maybe she did, but Lele sniff. It's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. I like you better, Lele, says Andy. Prove it, liar. Andy says sigh. I knew it. Maybe you'd have more friends if you weren't always so. Not even my own brother picks me over her. I already knew it. Did I not just say, la, 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 talk sure is cheap. God damn it. Cough, cough. <laughs> She's still alive for now. And he puts, he puts it in there. There, there are you happy now? He <laughs> he, yes. Just until morning, okay, says Andy. Yes, yes, you're the best. I like you the best, Andy. Lele, you hear that, Blink? You get to stay in there until morning. No, please, cough. <coughs> Ashley! <coughs> Let me out, please, cough, cough. Ashley, wait, don't cough, go. Don't go. Ashley, please, Ashley! Andrew says, Ashley, are you awake? I am now. Um, okay. Well, what is it? Nothing, it's just... God, what the F do we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy. So I didn't do anything wrong. You mutilated and ate a corpse, says Andrew. What else are we supposed to do, says Ashley? Call the warden and let him know he died? Ah, uh, yes. Um, sir, he summoned a demon and then died. I swear we didn't do it. Yeah, I... We wouldn't have to admit we were there. We could have just told him to go check on the guy. Andrew, what the hell? W what What the hell? Didn't we both agree to this? I could have sworn it was your suggestion in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some BS. But fine, let's assume it was so. What do you want me to do about it? I... Whoosh, whoosh. There goes my magic wand. There, I absolved you of your sins. You never took a bite now. You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Groan. Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like, can't we be excused? It's the water company's fault. First, they lock us in for months, and then they won't even feed us. And is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. Sigh. Andrew's crying. There, 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 says Ashley. Y you know, I, I, I couldn't get his head off. Huh? Like, it didn't fit in the freezer proper. So I needed to chop his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was to anyway, I, I kind of just ugh, like kept cutting around and then pulled it off like some plan. I, I don't know. I keep thinking about it. Ugh, I can't effing sleep, Ashley. It's it's c c come here. Andrew, I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? Ashley says, I don't know. I'm compartmentalized. Kind of like compartmentalized that guy into different freezers. Ashley! 
Andrew, what is it, Andrew? 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 Andy. Hey! <laughs> he bit her freaking <laughs> her finger. I told you stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Why, why, mommy, the big bad me did the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. Make me, you little bee. Tish, forget this. Ashley says, hey, Andy, remember when we used to go on adventures? What? Andy and Lele's quest for something or another, remember? Well, why bring this up? Isn't this just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation, then we can unpack it all later. Or not. I don't think I will personally. But you can go to therapy. Like I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. Alright, just a thought. Let's get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Hell no, I don't. They throw us in jail right after. And I don't know which is worse. Withering in this coffin of a house or getting railed in prison. Aha! So you want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well? Preferably, yeah. This episode is titled Andy and Lele and the Escape from the Coffin. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your ASS already. My God, I don't love you that much, says Ashley. Ugh, you make me want to kill myself. Too bad diving down the balcony is too romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. <laughs> says Ashley. Your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. Where's my brother at? I know he's not over here. Oh, he is. Andrew says, hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning instruction manual book thing. Brave, given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Be careful. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. Anyway. It says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, yeah. So they're only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. I take it you want to ask one to get us out of here. Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did. Yeah, we definitely don't want to leave like that. But I do think this is our best bet for now. So what will we ask from it? I don't know yet. Okay, then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. I, I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here that demons prefer human souls. So obviously, it's got to be that. Where to get a soul while we're stuck in here? Dot, 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 dot. W what are you looking at? Oh, nothing. Ashley? W what? I wouldn't. Thought about it, I see. Let me keep my thoughts my own. Don't we already share enough? On second thought, let's not do this. Oh, come on. I'm not going to sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just set the ritual up for now. What's it need? I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. Okay, replace the candles. This candle needs to be replaced. Got it. Got two candles. Got one candle. Replace candle. Replace that one and this one. Done. What now? Now we... Warden says, still alive and kicking, are you? He thinks that that guy is still in here because we're in somebody else's apartment, obviously. Andrew? Wharton, you've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried here. Ashley? 
Sai. Yeah, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering, so the warden seems to be on a call. The weirdo one. I think he croaked, but he's just a B-type anyway. Sai, fine. I'll check it out after my round. The warden's footsteps move away from the door. Ashley says, is that all we would have had to do to get the door open? Just shut up for two days? Oh, shit. He's going to come in here and see all this. No, 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 says Andrew. Enough. Go stall him at our door. I'll clean this up. He's still going to find the guy missing unless he checks the freezer, which is where all this blood is pointing at. Yes, there's a trail of blood right there. No, says Andrew. Go before he notices we're not home and keep him until I've mopped up the blood. Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. There should be a corpse below then. You get to be that corpse if you don't get going already. Okay. Let's get back over here. Andrew, no, no, listen, it'll be a trade. Wait, he's talking to the, wait, does he not know I'm right here? The warden says, I told you I'm not interested. Andrew, I've got some good books in here. I'm sure you'd like to read them while you be nasty. I, I, I thought you said it's fine literature. Oh yeah, it's real fine. So Andrew's trying to offer him some books. Trying to offer him pretty much anything in a trade. I'll give you this if you let us out. Warden says, like how? You have to see for yourself. I'll trade you one book for a pack of noodles. We'll exchange them via the mail slot. But maybe it's a genre I don't like. Read me a sample. Like hell I will. Did you want me to get in character too? I don't want to go into this blind, says the warden. Who knows what kind of crap you're reading? It's just one pack of noodles. Don't be such a coward. Actually, I think each book is worth one of those multi-packs, at least. Why is it that you're always such a problem? One book for one pack of noodles. One tin pack. Push them in one by one. Then you'll get the book. Listen here, you. I'm not the one holding all the cards here, so I decide what the pointless negotiations go on and on. All right, I'm going back over here. What are you gonna do, lick it clean? Get the mop, you dumb bat. Okay, we gotta get the mop. Gotta clean this place up, mop. Come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Got it. We'll let him keep talking to the warden. Okay, there we go. Gosh, hurry. Ashley, the warden is coming. Freak, what do I do? I'm at the ritual book. Demon Summoning for Dummies, Volume 666. Oh my gosh, I was just getting out of there. Huh? What are you doing here, says the warden. Oh, shoot. Sadly, the warden soon calls over his buddy. You get taken back to your apartment, after which you and your brother's Wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm going to let you try again. <laughs> Retry. Okay, let's hide. You hid in the closet successfully. Greetings and salutations, says the warden. Huh? Anybody home? Oh great, another suicide. What the? How did you get in here? Oh, we chopped the warden up. Bro, Ashley is with the shiznit. Sigh. Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's a good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Andrew, come on, Lele, let's go play. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. Wait, did Andrew chop him up? 
I thought it was Ashley. It was Andrew? You did. Happens to the best of us. The warden is very dead. Well, you've done it now, Andy. You actually killed a man. Like, directly. Yep. I was a little surprised there. <laughs> Ashley, she's crazy. So where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. Yeah, we'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? Ashley, I'm not in the mood for your shiznit right now. All right. Oh, looky here. Got key to room 405. At last, you unlock the door and... Before we go, Ashley. Huh? I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we have for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I ask you to kill him? What do you think was going to happen if I hadn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is whatever happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what went down here. To anyone. Yeah, obviously. Obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious we did something. Once this guy shifts ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I am trying. Yeah, see, I'm not sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing you, you think you're going to go find mom and dad. But I'm not saying all of that is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse, says Andrew. I, I, okay, so you want me never to contact anyone I ever know ever again? Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities? Is that it? Yes, exactly. Yeah, fine, whatever. Andrew says, if you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? Andrew says, I'm not going to jail because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave, even if I have to put you there myself. Ashley says, you don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. <gasps> Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the F off. Who do you think you're talking to? Andrew. It's I'm stressed out, Lele. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's a half dead guy in our freezer with my fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Andrew. Huh, all good. We can go now? Yeah, I guess. Okay, finally. Though, Andy, what? I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt it was necessary to even answer my calls or come fling food up to our balcony. It would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is no one even came to try. So my affections officially died with all the brain cells I lost while starving. Ha! <laughs> but it's all right because Andy is here with me, even though he feels like threatening me for some reason. Sorry. I guess I lost some brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Oh, F you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, let's get the hell out of here already. Okay. All right, we are in the hallway now. Room 403, 402, 401. Ah, oh, key right here. Got a key to room 302. Ashley, looky. They've got a little surveillance camera. Oh, crap, are we on it? No, it looks like it's recording the second floor. Huh? Let me see. Great. There's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's go shoot this guy. Nope, he only had a key to the cultist room and a walkie-talkie. Sigh. Think there's a warden on every floor, says Ashley? Nah, they probably work in pairs of two. It's not like they have to do anything else than keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. Ah, there's a key here. Found fourth floor key. 
So we got room 302 and a fourth floor key. Okay, can't go that way. The elevator is out of order, but of course it is. Go to third floor. We're taking the stairs, going into room 302. Hello there. Lady, hey, 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 hold up. How dare you come any closer? Who are you? Your neighbors from upstairs, says Andrew. What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? What don't you understand, says the lady. You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and can play games all day long. I live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, wait, wait. They actually bring you food? Of course. Literally anything I want. All you got to do is ask nicely. <laughs> what? No way, fam. No way. Ask nicely. Like, bend over and open wide nicely. Ashley. F you. Get out, both of you. Wow. So all we had to do this whole time was ask nicely. Doodles and drawings. Lady says, hey, did I give you my permission to go there? Sorry. Wow, fam. All we had to do was ask nicely. A nail gun. Well, that was something. How come we got such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? I mean, wasn't she? <laughs> Whatever. Is it okay to leave her there after she saw us, though? Probably not, but you go in there swinging your cleaver, and she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden comes in and shoots us. Ugh, this is so hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Hmm, well... If we can get this woman up to the cultist's room, we got a soul to offer. How on earth are we going to convince her lazy ass to even leave her room? Beats me. Let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. All right. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Oh, come on, says Andrew. So ugly, am I? That I shouldn't even be fed? Or maybe they didn't think it'd be fun to screw with you while I'm loitering around the house. Oh, yeah, okay, fair point. And I wouldn't let them anyway. Go to fourth floor. All right, we're back in this room. You double check if the warden also had a gun tucked away anywhere. But all you find is the walkie talkie. Useless. I don't know, at least we can hear if the other warden tries to contact this one. So we got the walkie talkie. Okay. Which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal, at that point we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we call the warden over with this and have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone. Though he'll come in guns blazing. Oh, right. Ah, let me think. Got walkie-talkie. Well, while you're at it, I'll ready this ritual for us. What do I need to do? I don't remember. Check the guidebook. So, what's needed to finish the ritual setup? Draw some runes on the floor with blood. Not sure what runes, though. I'll just redraw what that guy had already drawn. They seem to work. Okay. This rune is faded out. Just inspecting the runes. They're all faded out. You dip your digits into one of the warden's wounds. Got blood. Okay, we got blood. Andrew says, redraw the small runes on the floor using blood. Gotcha. Okay. I have an idea. Oh. Let's have the lady from upstairs lure the warden down here with the walkie-talkie. And uh, how are we going to make her do that? You know how. <laughs> All right, let's go. Convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio. 
But I think it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, I wouldn't want to keep the demon waiting. Okay, let's go back upstairs. We gotta convince this lady <laughs> our way. Lady, you two again? Sorry, sorry, there's one last thing we forgot to ask you. Wait, I thought I made myself clear. Oh. Huh? What do you want? Hey, get off of me! Lady? Oh! Ashley says, what's gonna happen now is that you'll coo into this walkie-talkie. Uh-huh, huh? Tell them that you and your friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. No, 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 please, I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. You press the walkie-talkie on. Hey, hello, says the lady. Huh, who's there, Warden says. Hi, Dave, it's me. Where's Malcolm? Uh, Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? Come visit me. A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. <laughs> well, I'll be. I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. <laughs> They're going to watch some movies together, guys. And have a good time. Was that room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Um, Hey, nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. Sweet cheeks. <laughs> you cut the conversation there. All right, let's go. I'll let go of her now. And what do you think she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise, says the lady. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until it's done. What? Get going, dumbass. Fine. Andrew? Oh, yeah. I almost forgot, Lele. Catch. Andrew throws something. Got lighter. You hurry back and finish the ritual. All right, let's do this. The warden is on his way. Turn on the audio. Ashley says, so now what am I supposed to do? Ah, something is here. Who are you? I can't see. You are asking me my name, human? Uh, what do you offer? Uh, yikes. Did I mess up? I don't want to pay for its name. Uh-oh, there's a warden. I'm here! It's kind of dark, huh? Says the warden. And I'm not doing anything with this kind of music on. Shot. the warden reaches for his gun. Ah! Him! I offer him! Ashley's offering the warden right now. Warden says, what the? Oh, oh, ah! We gave him a human soul. So, uh, well, uh, how is it? Human with tar-colored soul. I give you this. So he gave us something. An unidentifiable small object. Hold it for an occasional clairvoyant dream. To gauge the troubles ahead. Thank you, says Ashley. And he leaves. The entity is left. And you're still alive, unlike either of the other wardens. Ashley says, man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name, nor to ask for a favor. It just did whatever it wanted. And it definitely just gave me whatever trash was laying around in its demon pockets. But no matter, the warden is dead. And if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'll be cool as hell. You decide not to linger the fact that your soul is apparently a vicious pitch black mess. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty soulless <laughs> at this point. Guess you already knew that. Okay. Got key to second floor and got a gun. At last, time to shoot Andy. <laughs> Just kidding. I'll probably shoot the lady though. <laughs> Let's return back. Go to third floor. 302. Oh, she's dead. Sadly, your plans of splattering the lady's brains on the wall have been thwarted. Her corpse already rests on the bed. Ashley, what happened here? She tried to shoot me with the nail gun. How on earth? I thought you were holding her in place. Well, I let go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start 
anything as long as I have my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? You did say she was pretty. Grown. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, yeah. And here I was, wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Andrew shoots his load while I risk getting shot by the warden. Are you unaware that the lady is dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dummy you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Oh, okay, that makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you act like this. What's your problem? Effing every time. Every time indeed. Every time some effing floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not celibate. What's it with you? It's always the same with you. You get to dip your little thingy in some girl and the rest of the world disappears. Not true. Yeah, it is, cockbrain. Now is definitely not the time for this, says Andrew. I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me. Blow it out your ASS. I'm not having this argument here of all places. I? No, shut up. I didn't screw the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the F off of my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What? She told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without loose-lipped whores like that. So, it really was you. Yeah. All I did was weed out a quitter for you. You're welcome. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some BS crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it here where I can't as much as take a piss without you knowing. Ha! I bet you'd love it if I even killed myself then. Where'd that come from, I? F, what a prime example of, you're, you're just, you just you. Ha ha, you would, you would, I knew it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can, just for you, you know? I have just a thing for that. Back at your beck and call like it was way back when. What? No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. I never once made you do anything. But it's always, I don't want to. I don't want to with you. So all Ashley wants is, like, she's obsessed over her brother and wants all of his time with her. Well, answer me this. What do you want then? Well, see, if you had listened to a word I said, you'd know I... Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you for the past three months. So then why aren't we friends anymore? Ugh, of course we are just... Ugh, forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Just go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then. I'm going. Oh, no you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you. Isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What? Talk to me. It's not my fault, says Ashley. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultists. I didn't even kill the warden. Which one? Neither. You did, and the demon. I'm all innocent. I've not harmed a single soul. Of course not. You make me do it for you. I didn't make you do shit, Andrew. You chopped the bastard all by yourself. And you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock blank in that crate. Where the effing cunt choked. <laughs> Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy. My poor Andy. Andy, so? That just came out of your mouth. Ha ha ha, what? It's true. You chose to do it. And you chose me. You chose me. Me. You backpedaling F of a brother. You chose me. You did. You did. Ah. So I guess we're not leaving here together, says Andrew. You can't do it. Ha ha. He's choking her. Or about to. You won't. You can't, cuz. 
I'm the only one you can talk to. When you can't sleep at night and you can't take it, I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that, when you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now with Andy. I'm ready to go now, says Ashley. Go like blank did? Of course not. I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you, can we go? I'd like to go too. But the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now and you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you right here and be done with it. Though, if you can come up with the compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said, there are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, okay, I got nothing. But I'd like to go with you very much. Though, if you plan on ditching me anyway, then F you. If it's not going to be just the two of us, then forget it. Andrew? Cough. Oh, I don't. Give a shit about... I'm glad she choked his girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend. I know you are. Ashley says, no one knows it was us. So does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave. Isn't that how it goes? Who knows with you? Though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place? Ah, <laughs> that's right. Our quest continues. What did we name this episode again? Andy and... Okay, but I'm not going to be Andy anymore. Huh? He's so spineless. And I hate Lele. Like you wouldn't believe. Huh? She better stay here and die with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine. Whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting, says Andrew. Nonsense. I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the keys to the second floor, and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. Ha ha ha, maybe later. <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andrew. All right, second floor. There we go. Ashley, aha, look, an open window. Great jump. Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Damn it, isn't there like a rope or something we can use to climb down? What if we climb down the window using this carpet? I'm not sure how we're going to secure it, though. You hold it while I descend. Oh, yeah, and I'll just jump into your arms once you're down. Would that actually work? Maybe if you catch me instead? Hell no, it won't. We've got to set something to hold the carpet in place while we climb down. Well, let's leave it by the window for now. Got carpet. Oh, let's go get the nail gun. There we go. This will help. Got nail gun. Thank you, miss. All right, let's do this. The two of you used the nail gun to nail the carpet into the wall. It doesn't look safe. Andrew says there's got to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent fall. I mean, I guess. Sigh, all right, you first then. Damn right I go first, I'm a lady. You climb down very unladylike. <laughs> we just climb down fast. <laughs> oh. Yo, and there's a gate here. So what happens now? Well, what happens now is that we'll skip town and then find a buffet restaurant. Oh, then we'll steal someone's identity or something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then as long as we never come in contact with law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First things first, skipping town in the buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Then we'll rent a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere here too. Uh, even then, I don't think that's going to. 
Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. It'll all work out. At least we'll live under a bridge or something. Like trolls will eat those who won't pay the toll to cross. <laughs> How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. <laughs> Keep it together, says Andrew. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy, says Ashley. I'm happy to be out of there, too. And otherwise, I'm a hair away from panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly, I should be seeing visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? Well, I hope you do. It would be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. Yep, so you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. Ashley, but that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun, says Andrew. Stuck, huh? Are you? <laughs> oh yeah, completely stuck. <laughs> you get on the bus and drive the hell out of here. The end. Vroom vroom, mf -er. Thanks for playing. That was absolutely phenomenal. One of the best games I've played in such a long time. Especially with like the characters and character development and just the storyline in general. It was so fun. Like you are gravitated to the story from beginning to end. And it's a story really of a sister who is deeply in love or has a lot of love for her own brother. Um, to the point where he can't live his own life. He can't date anybody. He can't even be away from her for a given amount of time before she's complaining about him not wanting to spend time with her. So they carry out these deeds together. They face the consequences of life together and they are going to live the rest of life <laughs> trying to stay away from law enforcement and trying to stay out of jail. <laughs> The coffin of Andy and Lele. So the coffin was the apartment the whole time. If you guys could see the coffin in the background with the chain around it, and there's a window on it indicating the apartment is the coffin. Really hope you guys enjoyed. If y'all like stories like this, 2D style RPG, y'all know what to do. Smash that thumbs up button, and I promise I'll play more of these. This was so fun. So fun. So I really want y'all to smash that thumbs up button. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video. I love y'all.